everyone, I hope you're all well. So as on the title, I am showing you my push chair that I bought for baby number three. Um, you can probably tell from the title of what it is. So I actually went for the Mountain Buggy Swift. And yeah, I'm just gonna give you a bit of a demo and overview of why I chose it and how it works. Obviously I haven't used it with a real baby, so I have no idea if it's, um, you know, as practical as it looks, whatever. Um, maybe I should do a review in like six months, maybe, see how I get on with it. But the mountain buggy style, all-terrain, three-wheeler is exactly where I wanted to go. Um, I've had many push chairs before with my other two children. Nothing really stood out and I never really kind of fell in love with anything specific. Um, but as you probably know, we live quite rural countryside tracks off-roading um, yeah I don't go into cities very often so I needed something really really practical so um yeah I just came to the decision to go with the Swift it's the smaller I think the smaller slightly lighter version of the original mountain buggy um, and I managed to get it second hand I got all the attachments like the original attachments um, the rain covers and the car seat adapter, everything um, for £200. So an absolute bargain because everything you have to buy separately. Um, and honestly, the lady that actually I bought it from, she like barely used it. It doesn't even look used at all. So um, yeah, I'm gonna give you a quick overview. As you can see, it's all in black, um, which is again, one color I just wanted because we don't know the gender of this baby and I quite like quite a neutral color. Um, so yeah, right now you can see it is, or it has the carry cot on there. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to adapt it. But honestly, it's so light and um, just so easy to manoeuvre. You can actually lock the front wheel um, if you want to. You can lock it. It currently is on swivel. Um, the brake, literally, you just flip this like red thing down and it just stops the, the push chest straight away and then you flip it back up. It has a really decent size um, basket at the bottom and I'll give you a little close-up actually of the carry cot itself so right now I've obviously got the rain cover on there this can adjust as well so you can adjust it to your own specific height which is quite good um, for comfort of however tall or short you are but um, yeah really happy with it. it it honestly doesn't even really look used and the only thing you can notice is there's a couple of little scratches on here um on the main plate but yeah so this has the rain cover on at the moment i just stuck it on there um but the it has like a double thickness of a mat of mattress um, she said she didn't really use the carry cot really at all and you can definitely tell it doesn't really look used um, so yeah I'll show you how how easy it is to clip it off it is one of the main functions that I am hoping to use a lot on like long walks um, but obviously if you're flat packing it put it in a car you do have to take it off and I think that's probably common with most but you literally just lift up these two, uh, there's two of those either side and it just comes off. So really, really simple. And you're left with the frame. Also has two carry straps as well. If you wanna sort of carry it and your baby's asleep in it, you could just carry them into the house. Parent strap, I think. You can put your hand or your wrist on it just to make sure, I think most pushers have that now to make sure that you don't ever kind of come away from your push chair um yeah so that's pretty much the frame and now i'm going to show you the car seat adapter so the adapter looks like this nothing too fancy um but again it's an extra so you'd have to buy 
this. Okay, so with this attachment, I did have to literally YouTube this a couple of times because you've got to make sure it's completely correct before you put a car seat on it. And at the moment, it just looks like a bit of fabric and it's like, where, where parts do you place it? Um, but yeah, so this little strap is at the back, which is one thing I try to remember. And then also you want the clips to be above the black marker. So if you put them in there, clip them in, and then these have little poppers on. You literally um, pop them either side. And then also they have poppers here and there's a little popper at the back of the handlebar and you literally just pop a, them in and that should be fully secure you want to make sure the strap is around the bar and so this holds i think most car seats the car seat we have is a maxi cozy pebble so the aim is is to make sure the car seats fitted nice and snugly in there you can see it's in there you can see it's in there you want to make sure it's nice and secure and then you literally get this strap and strap it in nice and tightly so you get no wobble like that so that is with the car seat on also if you're using the car seat adapter all the time you can actually leave it on as well so if you're doing school runs and you're always going to have the push chair in the car and right at, the, at this moment in time the baby is so small that it's just easier to whip the car seat on um, to actually put the swift down all you do is release these two um, either side release this foot plate and then it just folds down like so and it's actually not even that heavy I'll try and get all the dimensions and I'll link everything in the description bar but that is what it is when you pop it in the car so if you haven't got a big enough car you can literally clip off the wheels um, but yeah you can leave the adapter on which is quite useful and I'll probably end up doing that for the first few weeks I thought getting it back up would be quite useful so there's just a catch here it actually clips once the push chair's fully down you can kind of hear it click so literally you just bring it back and it locks straight into place and it's so, it's so light and so easy to do that you can see how easy it is um, and then that's the basket in there okay so hopefully you can see this is the seat here comes in literally one piece so it's got the hood attached and it literally just clips on um, through the pieces on the frame so the first thing is these little rings there's little rings here and they go into these little side clips here so you can um, zipper on just to make sure it's fully secure so that gets zipped in and you can zip those sides down hopefully you can see what I'm actually doing super easy attaching there's loads of little poppers and you just start poppering them onto the frame so there's one there there and then down here as well just make sure everything's secure and that is pretty much 
think actually that hood can go a little bit lower. That way. And the hood clips on a bit lower. I thought it did. That's it. That goes on a lot more snug. I've only literally taken this off. I actually haven't put it on before. But yeah, that is pretty much the full seat on. Obviously, this is forward facing. You cannot have it rear, like facing the parent, which I know some people might not like. Um, but my team never really had a problem. Once you get to a certain age, they want to look out. The hood's really good. It goes really far over. And you can attach different things to it. There's a zipper here, so you can put the rain cover on. I do have the rain cover here which came with it as well. Um, that looks like another rain cover. Oh, that's not supposed rain cover. Oh yeah, we have the bumper bar as well. You can attach the bumper bar. And that just clips on. Also, it does recline um, from birth. So you can literally just pull these down. So if you want your little one to have a sleep, it completely lays flat. But yeah, that is pretty much, it's quite nice. It's really comfortable. I love the shade because some pushchairs have terrible shades that are just not big enough. You also have a viewfinder as well. Viewfinder, you know what I mean, you can see the baby. To get the um, seat back up, you literally you just pull these straps in. Easy as that. And then that is pretty much the mountain buggy. Swift, it's five point harness, it's super safe, it's super padded. The bumper bar's really padded, feet plate's really good, so the feet don't dangle. Um, and this should, I think, go up to age three-ish, three to four. Depends how big your child is, but I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty decent size. So yeah, I really hope this has given you an okay demo. <laughs> I am so happy with it. I love it. I think it's just everything I want. I can use it from newborn. I can bring it all the way up to preschool and. The different attachments means that I can do everything. So I've got the carry cot, I can add the car seat on. Okay, it's bigger than a few, you know, most pushchairs actually these days, even like the bugaboos and eye candies, they're pretty big anyway. So I wouldn't say it's necessarily any bigger. The wheels are bigger, obviously, but the weight of it is really, really light, which is one reason why I went for the Swift. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really happy with it. I think it's going to do us well for the next few years. Um, I'll leave it linked in the description bar. I'll also leave um, any other information that I find. Um, but yeah, like I said, I picked up this whole package, not including the car seat though, the whole package for £200. So I'm really happy, especially because for me, um, it's a bit of a bargain. They're a lot of money. Uh, push chairs are really expensive at the moment and they're only getting more expensive and you know as long as it's practical for you and this is third baby as well so I've been through a lot of push chairs but um yeah I really hope you enjoyed this video let me know if it's been useful and I will see you all soon